Hello and welcome to Manu Video Game Maker. Today, we're going to learn about custom main character setup. It's the new feature added with the Manu 1.1 update. First and foremost, you can download all files used in this sample video. Please use the link in the description. You're free to use the provided mesh file and animations or use your own assets for imported characters. To begin, we need to open the file option and then the import option. Please add the tpose file with DAE extension. It's the main mesh file for our imported character and contains the 3D model. It seems that the newly imported character is too big to fit on the screen. Let us start by changing the proportions of our new character. Set the scale value right here to 1% and you'll be able to see your new character. Now the character has to be positioned within our current engine default character for a moment. To do so, we need to move the new tpose file to the model directory. This can be easily done with drag and drop. Now we need to reset all values of our newly imported character. You have to manually set all the values in the transform window to their default values. Position, 0. Rotation, 0. Scale, 1%. Let us call him Manu Boy. Our character can definitely use some textures to look better. Let's start by opening the world root directory inside the tpose directory. Our next step is to find the file m underscore Manu B and change the shader. This file is basically our Manu Boy model. We should pick the PBR shader instead of normal. Our PBR shader consists of four elements, base, normal, arm, and emissive. Each element stands for a specific part of our model. For this tutorial, we'll need to work with the first three options. Each one is responsible for partial texturing. Pick the base shader option and then pick the t underscore manu boy underscore d jpeg file. You'll see the immediate effect of picking the new sd texture. It means standard definition texture. Pick the normal shader option and then add t underscore manu boy underscore n jpeg file. Finally, choose the arm shader option and then t underscore manu boy underscore arm jpeg. Each of these files is responsible for a specific part of the model's textures. As a result, you can now see your fully textured manu boy. It's lacking animations and we're going to fix it. Now, let's animate him. We have two folders for our animations, internal animations associated with a specific model and animations for states that have to be imported and set up manually. By using the word states, we mean the specific condition of character behavior, being idle, walking, jumping, switching from crouching to walking, and so on. These are called the states. You have to manually add animation files and then reconfigure them to work properly with your new imported character. This could be difficult to achieve on your own, but our tutorial will guide you. Let's start by switching to Animation Mode. We have to add our first animation to the T-Pose of Manu Boy. It's easy, we just have to use the Import Animation button and pick the desired DAE file. This is how we add animations to the folder of our imported character. Make sure to add all your newly imported animations to the T-Pose directory. You have to manually add each animation. In the interest of time, we would like to show you the process of adding just the basic animations. They're responsible for idle state, running, and jumping. Please note that we provided a large variety of animation files, and you may need to import all of them for the correct actions and movement of Manu Boy character. If you want to import any other animation besides these three, we will show you how. You can preview each imported animation. To do so, you need to click on the play icon. This option can be useful to know what kind of animation you're dealing with. Now we need to open another folder, Animation for States. First of all, we need to delete the animation track in idle state as it belongs to the animation of the engine default character. This will allow us to remove the old animation for the default character and upload the updated file associated with our new character. This is how to delete the previous animation track. Let's add DAE animation for our Manu Boy. This will help us to correctly indicate the action linked with this animation track. Add the new animation track. To do so, find the tpose folder and add your first idle animation with DAE extension. 
That's why we need to click on the G underscore mail underscore base attributed to the default character and pick the retarget command. This is basically how we teach our new character to do the same things as the default character. And that is why we still need G underscore mail underscore base to be present in our files with all animations included. As for retarget, this option helps us to switch the specific action or animation from one source to another. With that in mind, let's move on. You may wonder, why do we still have this previous default character in our files? This default character should be present to correctly transfer all animations from the default to the newly imported character. You have to repeat this process for every imported animation. Let's carry on with running animation. Do you remember the steps? First, we have to delete the old animation track. Next, we should add DAE animation to your new model. Lastly, we have to retarget the animation to your new model. Rinse and repeat. Here, we should pick the Hurt animation. Now, we should apply the Hurt indication from our default character to our menu boy. It can be done with the retarget command. Now, you have to right click on G underscore mail underscore base underscore mesh and pick the retarget option. That's how we inform Manu that it should apply the same approach for our newly imported character. Finish the process with retargeting hurt animation to your M underscore Manu boy file. By doing this, your newly imported character will indicate the damage by turning red for a second every time it receives it. The old character model has done its job and we don't need it anymore. We can easily delete it with the appropriate command. Open the edit mode, find the g underscore mail underscore base directory inside the model and delete it. Now we only have our Manu Boy character. As you can see, our imported character is doing fine. All animations are working as intended. He can run, jump, and take damage from spikes by turning red when hurt. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask us anything in the comments section or at Manu Discord channel. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the Manu channel. We're grateful for every subscriber and your help is much appreciated. This is it for today. We'll see you in our next tutorial. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Manu.